What is going on guys? This is BitWZan here representing the Ichiban Gamer Club. And today what I'm going to be doing is kind of going over uh, Overwatch's newest hero, which is Moira. Uh, I got a chance to play with her for she, when she first came out uh, last week. Uh, fortunately, I was had to go out of town for a couple of days, so I wasn't able to put out any video uh, about her. So uh, this is kind of like uh, my first impressions and uh, a breakdown of her, as or however you want to put it. Um, first off, just kind of like a, a breakdown of what Moira's abilities are, if you uh, are unaware. Um, she has the bi Biotic Grasp, which is, allows you to, to heal. Um, what also that does is that uh, the spray has that meter that once you're using it, it does deplete. And it regenerates over time, but another way to regenerate it is by using your Biotic Grasp against enemies. So I thought that was pretty cool. You can throw out your uh, healing orb which is going to heal your partner or you could throw out a damage orb which is going to damage enemies if you choose to do that one um she also has fade which lets her zoop, uh, zip in and out of places uh not unlike reaper uh but uh she moves a lot quicker it's a shorter distance though and you can kind of control where you're going when you're like teleporting or fading in and out Reapers is kind of set, you set a destination and he just instantly phased or teleports there. Whereas this one, you kind of just, you're, you're still in control of her while she's in this fade mode. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, with the Biotic Grasp as well, uh, it works on two different tri uh, triggers. So with her left hand, she can heal her partners, but with her right hand, she can able to uh, do damage to enemies. And it's not a, it's not a lock on. It's kind of is. It's, it's a soft lock on because unlike Symmetra, where even if the people are moving around you, you can uh, still get a good lock on them and take their and drain their energy. With hers, it's kind of a soft lock. If if they get out of your field of vision, they're able to get like get out of your out of your grasp. So you're gonna have to like constantly move your camera along with them. Uh, her ultimate is called Coalescence, and it looks like just a big hot dukin which does damage and healing depending on who you're aiming it at. So if you're aiming it at a group of your teammates, you're healing them. But if you're aiming at a group of enemies, it'll be doing damage to them. So I think that's pretty cool that she does it at the same time. Uh, so my impressions of her is, I think as a support, she works out really well. She does not, I can't see like any one person she can dominate over, but with a room full of squishies and you throw a, a damage orb at the same time and you do the, that soft target um, biotic grasp, you might be able to get at them. People who are weak, she's good with those as well. Individuals who are already like halfway dying if they're trying to run away, I think she's going to be really good at tracking those individuals down because she can heal herself with the Biotic Grasp as you're doing damage against enemies. Um, I think in a group, she'd work really good with tanks because she can add that Biotic Orb and it'll do damage along with herself and any other partners that happen to be going against a tank. Uh, experiencing this myself, 1v1 against a tank does not help her any bit. She is not really that good against that. Even with the Biotic Orb going all over the place, it doesn't really help her. So, I would not suggest that at all. Um, her ultimate, it's fun to use. It's kind of like a little bit crazy to control. I would, I would liken it to uh, Zarya's, uh, like her particle beam. You kind of have to aim it wherever you want. It's not too crazy, but uh, it is fun being thrown out of huge Hadouken out of your hands and stuff, so uh, I think a lot of people would have fun doing that. Uh, overall, I think she's going to be a good fit for this uh, for this new era that we have here in Overwatch. Uh, the meta, I think, is going to be a little bit crazy because we don't know where it's at right now, especially with the the, the nerf that's been going on with uh, Mercy and the buff that Ana got. The healers are kind of like all over the place. I think they're not all over the place. I think they're at a good place, but they're all at different places right now, which I, I think it's good for the environment of Overwatch because it'll make it fun. There's, I don't think there's going to be a preferred healer situation. I think it's going to be like, a, okay, I'm going to need so-and-so, this healer for this situation or this healer for this situation. It's not going to be like always mercy all the time kind of situation. So I think that'll make it really fun. I think her fade is incredibly fun as well too. Moving in and out of that stuff is really easy to use. It doesn't feel weird in any way. Uh, using the orbs and stuff, having it ping pong all around, I think in a small little arena or a little area, uh, 
a hallway or anything like that or a small room is going to help her out because that orb just bouncing around doing damage or healing yourself or a teammate you're, you're going to have an advantage at that point you know so i can see that being a really good thing overall i don't think her difficulty is too crazy i think people once you once you start getting used to working with her and learning how to fade throw the the orbs around and how to lock onto people i think she'll become a much simpler character to use i don't know if she'll be necessarily that easy but i think she'll become a simpler healer to use um well i i think she probably does much better much more better job at doing damage against the person that she does at healing because the healing is not a lock on not like mercy's it's kind of a spray so it's kind of like what uh, may does with her uh, frozen technique so you're gonna have to just spit that all around and hope that your team is in the vicinity of getting hit or getting uh, healed with your spray overall i think she's gonna be a, she's a fun character i hope they don't go crazy nerfing her in any way like they did with doofist and just not make them fun i think that's what the appeal overwatch is is making these characters really fun to use and i, I think those guys at blizzard do a really good job at doing so so I have faith that it'll get done uh, properly. But uh, right now she's fun. She's good to use. I think she's going to be uh, used in groups where if there's a bunch of smaller people in them, like smaller squishies or uh, dive comps and stuff like that, I think she can combat that really easily. Um, th those are my thoughts on, on Moira, Overwatch's newest hero. Uh, what do you guys think of her if you've already tried her? Leave comments or... Uh, opinions or anything like that but uh let us know uh please like and subscribe if you haven't this has been bitwzn representing the ichiban gamer club later